everyone, my name is Desola, I'm a fashion designer and you are welcome to my channel! Welcome to my channel, welcome to Daisy's Wardrobe. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're an existing subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. And if you've seen my videos before and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and put on the notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. I'm an African inspired right by fashion designer, fashion mentor, and I'm based here in Lagos, Nigeria, and I've been in business for over 10 years. So here on my channel, I talk about being a fashion designer, starting a ready to wear business, starting a fashion business, all things business, all things fashion, and sometimes once in a while, I talk about my life. So here in today's video, I'll be talking about the one thing, the one thing, thing why a lot of ready to wear businesses are struggling the thing is that in this day everybody feels like starting a ready to wear business is the way to go everybody feels like starting a ready to wear business is the in thing starting a ready to wear business you're going to make so much money you're going to earn so much money and some people watch my videos and they say that oh look at daisy look at daisy's shop daisy's shop is very fine oh daisy's making so much money but the thing is that it has taken me a long time to get here. It has taken me 11 good years to get to where I am today. So don't think I started yesterday or two years ago or a year ago. It took some hard work and determination. So yes, you see some people, they say, ready to wear is the way to go. If you do this, this, that, 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 you will make this, this, that, that, that. You will do that, 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 some people don't even have ready to wear businesses. Some people have not even run a successful business and they will be telling you that you should go and start a ready to wear business. And then you go and then you go and start. And then you find out that the grass is not green on the other side. And then you get stuck. And then you don't know what to do. And then you're wondering, this business is frustrating me. This business is this. This business is that. And you know the irony of it is that it's such a pity. It's such a pity how people just fall for people that mislead them, people that guide them with the wrong information. Because they say, oh, ready to buy business is the way to go. So because of that, you know, you leave your business module that is working properly, and then you go and invest money into start ready to wear business, and then you're there wondering like, what, what, what do I do next? What do I do next? Meanwhile, these people who have fed you wrong information, who have given, who have misled you, some of them are nowhere to be found. You can't even reach some of them. And then you are stuck. And then you find people packing up. For me, I don't believe in quitting. I don't believe in packing up. Once you have started, you have started. And you have to make it work. That is me. Some people even go as far as telling you, let me tell you the things kind of clothes that you will sew. Sew this kind of clothes. When you sew this kind of clothes and you go and sell it, ah, you hit it. You hit it big and ready to wear. It's sad. It's really sad. It's really, really, really sad. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the one thing, the one thing that is making a lot of people struggle in their ready to wear businesses. The one thing that people are finding so difficult to move forward in their ready to wear business. The thing about ready to wear is that as, as easy as the module, the business module may sound, it's not as easy as a lot of people think. There's so much hard work that goes into running a ready to wear business. It's not just about sewing and packing a bunch of clothes and putting them on the rack or displaying them on Instagram or whatever the case may be. And then you think that you're going to blow up like that. If you start and you're lucky and you do it that way and you blow up, you're lucky. You're very lucky. But can you sustain it? Is this sustainable? Because the thing is that a lot of people, when they start ready to wear businesses, they don't think about how, how sustainable certain things are in the, in the business. They just feel that, you know, once they, once they have told them that they should 
buy this, they should buy that, they should do this, they should do that, and that's the end of it. You know, everything is all gravy. There's so much more. You start a ready to wear business, there's certain things that need to go in place. And when you, when you put certain things in place and things work out well, those things that you have put in place for it to work, they need to be sustained. They need to be sustained for the business to grow. Only if you're in it for a quick buck. If for, for that reason, just to make some quick money and bounce, that's all. That's fine. But if you are looking to run it as a sustainable business, a business that would last, that would grow, there's, there, there, there's more to it. There's really more to it than just sewing a bunch of clothes and putting them somewhere. Are you enjoying my video? Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and put on the notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. So the one reason, the one reason why a lot of ready to wear businesses are struggling is clarity. They lack clarity. They don't know certain things about the business that they should know. There's no clarity regarding so many things about the business. You lack clarity about who your target market is. You lack clarity about how to market your ready to wear business. You lack cl clarity about the kind of clothing to make for your target audience. You lack clarity about so many things. A lot of people lack clarity about their business. They listen to so many people. They listen to so many voices and they get everything all mixed up. So today I will use this opportunity to let you know that if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one mentoring session with me click on the link in the description to book a session with me and we'll take it from there so my video for today is done if you enjoyed watching my video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and put on the notification bell so that you know when i put up a new video and so i will see you soon bye do you want to have a one-on-one -on -one mentoring session with me click on the link in the description